everyone. Welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga with me, Jamie. It's time to get everyone there together at home and enjoy some lovely family yoga time. Now, the theme of today's adventure is Lost in Space. We are zooming up in a rocket into space today to help a friend who's lost someone. Where could they be? Now, I know space is a large area to cover, but if anyone can do it, I know the cosmic kids can. Let's get ready to rumble and enjoy our adventure. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie, and this is your place for yoga, stories, and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now, we always start in the same way, and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs, and bringing our hands together at our hearts, and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now, let's have a look through our cosminoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. <gasps> oh, look at the colours all spinning around. They're amazing. Oh, look, the shapes. Oh, can you see the picture? <gasps> yes, look. It's a monkey and a dog. It's Mike, the cosmic space monkey. And Mutnik, the astro dog. What are Mike and Mutnik doing? They're doing yoga. They're doing double tree pose. This is so exciting. Mike and Mutnik, they live on the moon. So that means we're going into space. We're going to the moon. This is so much fun. Let's start by taking some big, brave breaths. We crisscross our fingers and put them under our chin and we take a big breath all the way in. Ready? <sighs> Lifting your elbows high, high, high. And then we breathe up to the sky. Ready? <sighs> Let's do another one of them. Breathing in, lifting your elbows. <sighs> and breathing out to the sky like a dragon. Very good, everyone. Let's stand up now and take our arms wide to give everyone at home a great big hug goodbye. Bye, everybody. And out of the corner of our eye, we spot outside in the garden our rocket. Jump your feet wide, take your arms wide and bring your hands above your head. Look at our rocket, everybody. And look, take your arms out to the side it's got great big giant silver wings. Cool. Let's go and get in. We jump our feet together, we squat all the way down, and then we sit with our legs out long. We reach up and we close the big glass door on our rocket. Ooh. Bending our knees a little bit to touch our toes. Now we're in our rocket, we activate our ears by giving them a rub all the way round so that we can hear important messages. Oh, and we need to activate our voices so we give our jaws a really good rub as well. Well done, everyone. That means we can speak too. Now we need to turn our rocket on. So we fold forwards and we turn on all of the knobs and beepers. Taking hold of your toes, let's give them all a twiddle. Beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, boop. Very good, everyone. Now we need to check the steering controllers work. Lift up one of your feet and take it over one side. Pew! And the other. Pew! All the way forwards. Pew! And all the way back. Well, that one works. Let's try the other. Putting that one down, lifting up the other side now. Ready? Pew! And the other way. Pew! Forwards. Pew! And backwards. Pew! That one works too. I think we are ready for takeoff. Now, turning to the side, we bend our knees, put our feet flat, and take our hands behind us. And as we lift our hips, we count down from five. Ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and blast off. We sit with 
with our legs wide, everyone, as we rumble up into the sky. We go over to one way and over to the other way. And then we break through Earth's atmosphere and we feel zero gravity. We lie on our backs, in our seats with our arms wide and our legs float all the way up. Wow, we're going into space and it's so lovely. Outside our window, we can see a gazillion stars. It's so peaceful out here. Amazing. Did you hear that? Yes, it's the landing warning. We need to get into our landing position. Coming up, everybody, onto your knees. Tuck yourself up into a tiny little landing ball. <gasps> We've landed on the moon. Let's wiggle forwards onto our bellies and have a look through our little round window. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <gasps> oh, look out there, everybody. It's the moon. We check our wings are OK, looking to each side. Yep. And looking forward, we can see Mike, the cosmic space monkey. Let's get into our space suits. Coming up to stand, everyone. We stand up tall and we wiggle into our space suits. Here we go. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Now we need to put on our jetpack moon boots. We lift up one foot. Oh, try not to wobble. And we put our boot onto our foot. Very good, everyone. Let's try the other side now. Lifting up the other foot, holding onto our moon boot and pop it on. Ooh, very good. Now our helmets. We reach up for our helmet and we put it on our head. Making sure it's secure at the neck and all of our oxygen works. Very good. Now we need to open up the door. We reach forwards and we lift it up, opening the big glass door. We say, hello space. Hello space. And Mike the Cosmic Space Monkey is here and he does a big anti-gravity monkey jump. Now coming down to crouch, it's quite hard doing a monkey jump in anti-gravity because it happens very, very slowly. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Oh, Mike the Cosmic Space Monkey. Oh, I'm so pleased to see you. It's great that you've come all this way. You're such good friends, but I need your help. My astro dog, Mutnik, he's my best friend. He seems to have disappeared. I can't find him. Last time I saw him was this morning at the Milky Way Cafe. Do you think you can help me? We stand up. Well, good friends always do look out for each other. I think we can help Mike find Mutnik. Hey. Did you see that? In the moon dust? Look, folding all the way forwards, we can see something. Use your fingers to clear the moon dust. <gasps> it's a footprint of a cybersaur. That's a space dinosaur. And stand up, everyone, because we can hear it coming this way. Turning to the front, legs wide, fold forwards and hold onto your ankles. He's clumping this way. Clump, 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 clump. Quick, everyone, we need to hide behind the moon rock and so he won't see us. Tuck yourself down into a tiny little moon rock shape. Shh. We sit up after he's gone past and we say, Phew! Gosh, that's a relief. We're glad he's gone. Maybe Mutnik was running away from the Cybersaur and he got a bit lost. Hmm. Let's look through our cosmonoculars again and see if we can find him. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Oh, well, it's quite hard to see anything because right in front of us we seem to be looking at the sea of clouds. Oh, goodness me, it's quite hard to see where you're going in the sea of clouds. For this we need 
a crater skater. Coming up to stand, everyone. We get on board our crater skater so we can be sonic surfers. Put one foot forwards, one foot backwards. Bend your front knee. Take your arms wide. And off we go, whooshing across the surface of the moon. Whoosh! We jump and do it the other way. Whoosh! Uh-oh, we've stopped because we're right in the middle of the sea of clouds and we can't see where we're going. So we stand with Mike like mountains, as still and as powerful as can be, trying to listen with our special listening ears, taking your arms down by your sides and stand very still like a mountain. We hear something. What's that? Looking with our eyes, we can see through the clouds a mermaid. Oh, but maybe it's not a mermaid. Maybe it's a moon maid. Sitting on your bottoms, take your legs around to one side. Put one hand on your knee and the other hand behind you, looking over your shoulder, then looking to the front. She says it again. Then she seems to swish her tail around to the other side. She puts her other hand on her knee, her other hand behind her. She looks over her shoulder. She looks back at us and she says, ooh -wee, ooh -wee. She's calling us over. We better go and find her. Now, to get through the sea of clouds, best thing is to go on our hands and knees so that we can see where we're going. Coming onto your hands and knees, everybody. We reach forwards with one arm and reach back with the opposite leg. Oh, well done, everyone. We bring that hand and that knee back down and we try it on the other side. Reach with one arm and reach with your opposite leg. Very good, strong tummies, everyone. And bring your hand and your knee back down. We make it over to the Moon Maid and sat next to her is Matnik, the Astro Dog. Hands forward, tuck your toes and lift your bottoms up. He does a happy woof. Woof, 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 woof. He lifts up his tail and gives it a good wag. He's so happy to see us. Coming all the way down to sit like Mutnik with your paws up. Oh, Mike the Cosmic Space Monkey is so happy to have find, found his best friend, Mutnik. He's so happy. And we're very glad that Mutnik is safe. It's great that he found help. Whenever you're lost, you should always ask someone for help and they will stay with you until your grown-up friends come back and find you. Now, Mutnik is so relieved. Oh, thank goodness, I was running away from the Cybersaur and then I ran into the Sea of Clouds and I couldn't see where I was going. And this Moon Maid, oh, she's just helped. Hang on, where did she go? We face forwards, we tuck our hands down, we look up and we see the Moon Maid flying up into the Sea of Clouds. Breathing in as you lift up, Breathing out as you lower down. Breathing in. Breathing out. We are so grateful to the Moon Maid for looking after Mutnik. We blow her a big kiss. Time to get back to our rocket, everybody. We need to activate our jetpack boots. We come up to stand and we reach one arm to the sky. We hold onto our foot and we press the sole of our foot with our thumb to activate our jetpack boots. Try not to wobble. Boop, boop. Then we lower that foot. We need to activate the other one. So we lift up our other hand, hold onto our foot. Oh, try not to wobble. And activate the other jetpack boot. Ready? Boop, boop. Very good, everyone. We put that foot down, bring our feet together, our hands above our heads so we can steer, and off we go, up into the moon's surface. Whoosh! Steering our course all the way back to our rocket. Well done. Jump your feet wide. We've made it back to our rocket and we managed to find Mutnik, the astro dog, which is amazing. We give Mike, the cosmic space monkey, a big hug goodbye. And we open our arms again and we give Mutnik a big hug goodbye. It's time for us to go home. So we get back into our rocket, squatting all the way down, taking our legs out long, reaching up high, bending our knees, 
and closing our glass door. <sighs> now we lie back and we wait for our takeoff, taking our arms wide, our legs up in the air, as we feel that zero gravity once more. And as it's our journey back, we let our legs lower all the way down. We take our arms down by our sides and we rest here in our rocket as it flies through the peace of space. We're so glad that we could go and find Mutnik today, that we could help bring our friend back. Good friends are so important. You look out for each other. You help each other. You miss each other when you're not there. You look after each and every one of them, making sure they're safe and doing what they can to always be together. We lie here in this peaceful place and think of our friends, those people who are special. And we think about what would we do if we got lost? That we would ask for some help from someone who could help us find our grown-up friends and look after us until they come. That's what Mutnik did. That will mean that we will always be safe. And now it's time to wake up, so we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We hug our knees into our chest, giving them a big squeeze. And we roll over onto our side, coming up to sit with our eyes open now, our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was awesome. Thanks for coming to the moon and meeting Mike and Mutnik with me. You were great. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs>- Welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den, your place to feel calm and relaxed and to help our minds stay healthy and happy. First let's get comfy. Sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, we bring our hands to our knees and take a big deep breath. Ah, that's better. Now let's get the Zen Den ready so we can really enjoy it. We need music. Let's pitter-patter our faces and bodies and make the sounds appear. <gasps> yes, well done, that's it. Now let's pick some that help us feel just right. The sound of a jungle. A waterfall. And a harp. Now for the smell. Let's press our nose button. Yes, we did it. Brilliant work, everyone. Now, what have we got here? Hmm. Wow, the smell of feet. An eggy smell. Hmm. Oh, let's smell the mountain air. really clean fresh smell. We're going to play a game called Master the Monkey. You get super power points for this game. 
Every time you breathe in slowly and breathe out slowly, you get one point, like this. That's one point. Sounds easy peasy, yes? Well, here's the challenge. In your mind, there are lots of thoughts whizzing around. Stuff like, I wonder what's for dinner tonight. I'm going to a birthday party on Saturday. Where did Kira get that sticker? I want a sticker. Brrr. Our mind can be a little like a monkey sometimes, jumping all over the place from one thought to the next. It never seems to stop. There's always another thought to jump onto, and another one, and another one. If we can learn how to give our monkey mind a rest for a while, we get the superpower called concentration. To get this superpower, concentration, we need to collect superpower points. Remember the breaths? For every breath you do, in and out slowly, you get one point. See how many points you can get before your mind jumps like a monkey onto another thought. The secret trick is to just think about your breath as it comes in and out. See if you can keep your monkey mind on your breath and count how many full breaths you can do to get your superpower points of concentration. Take a moment now to do it. Oh, and close your eyes too because your monkey mind gets really jumpy and excited at all the things you see going on around you. I'll do it with you too. Ready? Let's start. See how many you can do before the bell rings. Focus on your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. Slow and steady. If your monkey mind jumps, don't worry. Just come back to your breath. Well done. Open your eyes, everyone. Now, how many did you count before your monkey mind jumped to a thought? Maybe one? Ten? Twenty? Or none? Be honest with yourself and know that with practice you can help your monkey mind get that superpower of concentration. Keep up the monkey mind practice and become a true Cosmic Kids Zen Den master. Bye bye! Welcome to the Cosmic Kids Yoga Disco. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, dancing and lots of fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the disco. This one's called Washing Machine Asonga, where we do our washing machine move and our tumble dryer move. First you get into the groove, with the washing machine a move. Then you build up the fire, as you blow your tumble dryer. Sit down and cross your legs And put your hands behind your head Then twist from side to side Let the rhythm be your guide Wish a wash a wish a wash a Wish a wash a woo Wish a wash a wish a wash a Wish a wash a woo Let's take it to our fingers Make like a tumble dryer Then you blow and blow and blow And see your fingers start to roll Blow a roll a blow a roll a Blow a roll a blow Blow a roll a blow a roll up, 
blow what all let blow Wish a wash a 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 mamba wish a wash a samba wish a wash a ramba washing machine a song rolling with the limbo rolling to the beat of the bongo rolling with the mambo washing machine a song make my tummy stronger washing machine a song Rumbly tumble raya, let's take the music. Aye, wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Everybody loves to dance and spin themselves around. Twisting side to side, we love this house a sound. Washing machine a sanga, washing machine a sanga. Rumbly tumble raya, now we all fall over. Universe. Dog pose. Coming down onto our hands and our knees. We spread our fingers wide, tuck our toes, and press our hips up to the sky. Yes! Now look, there's a friend. Hello. Oh, that's nice. Now, dogs always like to wag their tails when they're pleased to see you. So let's try that now. We reach up with one of our legs and we give it a wag. Waggle, waggle, waggle. Very good. Lowering it back down. Now, dog pose is very good for strengthening our arms and stretching the backs of our legs. And because we're upside down, we get lots of lovely fresh oxygen to our minds. So it's very good when we're feeling a bit tired. Let's try wagging our tail on the other side now. Stretching our other leg up and giving it a wag. Waggle, waggle, wag. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Dog pose. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Digging pose. Taking our feet nice and wide, we crisscross our fingers behind our back and stretch our arms. Now, we fold forwards after three and dig. Here we go. One, two, three, dig! And up! And again. One, two, three, dig! And up again. Now, digging pose is very good for stretching our chest, our shoulders and the backs of our legs. Let's do one more. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Dig! And up. We better stop there. It's getting rather deep, that hole. If we're not careful, we'll end up in Australia. Oh, hello. Digging pose. Peace out. Flop ometer. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Your place to get real life superpowers that last your whole life. First things first, let's get really comfy. Can you find some space to lie down or sit and spend a moment or so just getting your body feeling totally comfortable? Once you get yourself settled and comfy, you're ready to start. 
So, are you ready? I think you are. OK then, here we go. You're going to find out how floppy you can make your body. To do that, we have a special flop measuring machine called the flopometer. Can you say that with me? Flopometer. It's a funny sounding word, isn't it? It made me giggle when I first found out about it. The flopometer has five levels of floppiness and we're going to see if we can make it through all five levels today. For every level you do, you get a gold star chime like this. So if you do all five levels, you'll get five gold star chimes. Woohoo! Now, if you are super awesome at being floppy and you do make it to level five, let me tell you, you will have reached the top flop spot. What do you think? Are you ready to see if you can do it? I wonder if you'll be able to do all five. Let's try it out and see. We begin at level one. Make yourself as floppy as a robot. Wow, that's not floppy at all, is it? Are you doing it? I'm about as unfloppy as it gets. Everything is super stiff and rigid. Level one complete. Yay, we did it. Well done, you. Now, let's go for level two. Make yourself as floppy as a dinosaur. Goodness, still not very floppy. How about you? I feel like I have claws on the ends of my fingers and toes and lots of teeth in my mouth. Level two complete. Good work. Next one, level three. Make yourself as floppy as a sandwich. A sandwich? Well, I suppose sandwiches are more floppy than dinosaurs and robots. Let's try it. It feels a lot less tense, don't you think? But still a bit stiff, so that all the fillings don't fall out of the sandwich. Level three complete. Yes, you did it. On to the next one now. Level four. Make yourself as floppy as a teddy. Ah, oh, nice, a teddy. When I think of my teddy, I remember how floppy he is, his arms and his legs and a wobbly head. When I do it with my body, it feels pretty floppy to me. How about you? Level four complete. We're nearly there. This is great. We are doing so well on the flopometer so far. I wonder if we can be any more floppy. Only one way to find out. Let's go for the big one. Level five. Make yourself as floppy as cooked spaghetti. Cool. That's really floppy. I'm making my legs and arms as floppy as can be. In fact, I'm making my body really floppy too, and my face. Let's see if we can stay floppy enough to get our final fifth gold star chime. Yay, we did it. We reached level five. Would you like to score some extra bonus flop points? The best cheat for the extra flop points is to close your eyes. Make yourself like the cooked spaghetti again and just breathe slowly. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. That's it. Well done.
Wow, did you hear that? That was the flopometer telling you that you're the new highest scorer. Fantastic! Now you know about the floppiness levels, you can help your mind get super ready for our peace outs. Isn't it amazing how your body can affect your mind? But now you know about the special level of flop, you can use it whenever you need. You did so well with the flopometer and I hope you found it fun. I did. I hope it helps you too. So the next time you want to think clearly or enjoy peace out, you know exactly how to relax your body, to open your mind. I look forward to our next time. This is Jamie saying peace out.